Edmonton Public Library. Kate is in studio with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. No problem. Didn't bring your notes, but no problem because <laughs> everything's right there on your phone. Yes, I, I pivoted towards that since I forgot my notes somewhere. But yeah, I still have all the information, so we're good. That's good. So what are we starting off with? Well, uh, I just want to remind people that we have a lot of programs for all ages um, for people who live in the Clinton area. Um, so we're continuing to have uh, to have our regularly scheduled children's programs every Wednesday. So from 1030 to 1130, we have our story time. Um, so this is really fun. Liz does a good job of engaging the kids as well as the rest of the children's staff with a story, some songs, and even a puppet show. So it's really fun seeing all of the kids and uh, their caretakers enjoy that. And then later on Wednesdays from 230 to 330, uh, we have afternoon adventure so this is for um kids who are a little older but they always do a fun steam activity so they always do a fun science related um challenge just to learn more about a science principle so if you have kids or know of any anyone who has kids encourage them to come to a children's program it's really fun but now do you have to register for this mm -hmm. or is this something you just come up and sh show up Right, you can just show up for the children's programs. Uh, we don't do registration for those. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are the times and days again on that? So Wednesday is our children's day. Uh, so story time is from 1030 to 1130. And then afternoon adventures is from 230 to 330 at the main branch. Do you get some of the, like the daycares in the area bring the kids over? Um, you know, we... Um, do some outreach there and sometimes they come in separately um, so I don't think they come in for those particular activities but we would always welcome them if they wanted to come. Okay again mm -hmm. visiting with Kate from the public library what else mm -hmm. you got there for us this morning? Yeah and you know the library is definitely for adults too we don't want to exclude that age group um, so tomorrow Wednesday March 22nd we're doing another device advice session at the Lions brand from three to four. So this is a great opportunity for those who maybe don't feel super confident using uh, technology, whether it's their smartphone or tablet. Um, this is a great opportunity to come in and ask those questions. You may feel silly asking perhaps your own children or something. Um, we're happy to answer those. Um, so people have been coming into that. Yeah, um, that's so. generally what I do is I, I ask my kids or now even my grandchildren. Right. They yeah. can help me out in that regard. Yeah, yeah. So if you're looking for maybe another perspective or you don't want to ask them for whatever reason, the library is always here. So that's tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, March 22nd from 3 to 4 at Lions. Now, as I recall, you yeah. kind of head up that program, right? Or no? Well, I... I do a lot of it at the main branch. Okay. Stewart actually does a lot of it at the Lions branch. Okay. Um, so typically it's Stewart, me, or Rachel. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So again, this is something you can just show up to? You can. We do have an option to register, but it's not completely necessary. The registration more so serves as a space for you to tell us what maybe you want to work on if you think that maybe we need to prepare something, but it's not required. And I would imagine it'd probably be best if they brought their smartphone or their tablet yeah, with them. Yeah, yes, that would be ideal. Um, that way we can look at how your phone is organized and um, you can get that direct assistance right with your phone. So, All right, very yeah. good. So what else we got? And then later tomorrow, um, we will have Crochet Club at Lions. So this is from 5 to 6.30. Um, I've never done crochet before, but I hear it's really fun. Uh, so Sandy Logan is our instructor for that. Um, and she has a nice group of people who come somewhat regularly uh, to join them. Uh, so everyone is welcome of all levels. So it's a good opportunity to learn how to crochet if maybe you know how to knit or sew. Uh, this is a fun way to learn. So you can make yourself a scarf or a hat or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So that's our hope. Um, so, yeah, anyone is welcome. Now, it seems like a lot of your activities are on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, we have tried a few other days before. Typically, we stay away from Mondays. Um, 
I don't know. Typically, people are like, oh, Monday after a work day may not want to go out and do anything. But we found that Wednesdays are good at reaching people, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay, mm-hmm. again, visit with Kate from the Clinton Public Library. What else do you have for us, Kate? Yeah, so um, there's a Thursday makerspace class. So uh, we've been doing more, uh, you know, kind of makerspace slash crafting uh, programs for people who like to craft. So this is a good program if you're interested in that at all. So it's Thursday, March 23rd from 5.30 to 6.30. So this will be really fun. Um, it's you will upcycle some of the supplies you provide. So reusing newspaper or other um, other supplies to make a new craft. So it will be fun and it will be a fun way to welcome spring. So yeah, we encourage you to come. Now, what else is new at the library? Are you guys still doing yeah. a little renovation work? or? Yes, we are. Um, so the lower level meeting space in our uh, where our makerspace usually is, is still under construction. Hopefully that will um, be completed soon. Um, So yeah, that space is closed in the Friends of the Library. So those who uh, do the bookstore and help us raise funds uh, for the library, that's outside of the makerspace area typically. Okay, and, and that's not every day. You were saying they have certain days. Right. So that's open on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at various hours. I think Saturday, it's open from 10 a.m. to 2. Uh, Wednesday is 1 to 5, and Monday is 10 to 2. I drove by yesterday, and it looked like they have like a little sandwich board out there. Yeah. To let them know when they are available. Yes, they do. Yes. They try to get as many people in as possible. So okay. so what are the hours once again for our library? Yeah, so the main branch is open uh, Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., Friday 10 a.m. to 5, and Saturday 10 to 2. And then our Lions branch, so um, on uh at the, in the north end of town is open Tuesday, Thursday, and f- Friday, and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5, and Wednesday then from 12 to 7. Of course, today is the first full day of spring, and it mm-hmm. won't be long. You're going to have the uh, music on the avenue again. Oh, it's not called yeah. music on the avenue. Yeah, but market music. Market music, yes. Right. So that'll be coming up. Do you know when the first yeah. one is? Any idea about exactly when that might be? You know, I don't, but Would I know we May have it scheduled. I think it will be a little later i think perhaps in july i don't have those dates but yeah we're definitely looking forward to that we're excited to be outside and to see a lot of familiar faces at those events and of course people can always uh, go to social media and find out more about the library yeah yes they can they can find us at uh clinton public library and i'm sure it'll come up so yeah all right kate thanks so much thank you and now the, 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 the Dan Patrick Show. Dan Patrick. <laughs> Spring training numbers are up offensively, so the time of the game down about 30 minutes, and there's more runs and more scoring. And any kind of positive numbers, baseball's certainly putting it out there. I'm finding myself watching more spring training.